Hello YouTubers and welcome. I currently got these speakers and I also would really like to appreciate my 200 plus subscribers. I could not have done it without you guys. And today I'm going to be doing a big video on a ton of my speakers. Not all of them, but most of them. And they will all be in boxes, not the ones out of the boxes. So without further ado, we're going to be doing a song. And um, yeah, so. So yeah, guys. Here we go. These are new speakers, they came from a Parasonic. So yeah, let's begin. Here's the song. I don't know if you can see that very well. There you go. This is full bass songs as well. Guys, I do apologize about all the shaking. And I'm about to get the next speaker. So that's what you hear to these. Now I'm going to be getting the other speakers, which I got like these. Actually, no, I'll save them until the end. But yes, this is all going to be like a live stream, even though it's not a live stream because of the weird condoms with YouTube. So yeah, I'll be get the next. Um, Speak it out. Just make sure these wires do not touch. Wait, uh, which speaker should I get next? I might get. I know what I'm going to get next. And yeah, these do have little base ports as well. Next ones, these are the little Philips speakers, they actually sound very good, I used to have a pair of these uh, a while ago. So we'll be playing the same song again, we'll be playing the same song through every speaker I play. So I do apologize if it gets boring, guys. And this is full volume on the phone.
Now it is very quiet, but once it kicks in it should be a bit louder. These speakers actually have very good bass. Now it's unfortunate that my phone isn't the loudest with these speakers, but if I turn the bass off these would be a lot louder. We'll also be getting into my Bluetooth speakers too. And that's those speakers tested. Now we'll go back to um, playing music on my amp. Now this is a realistic speaker. There's the model. The top corner is the actual year when the speaker was fully made. The speaker was blown when I got it and I managed to fix it. And there's no sound coming out of it. Hang on, guys. Let me just figure out what's going on. There we go. There it goes. So I think this is a three inch. Fully sealed two. Ignore that bit, I was uh, taking this weird texture it's got off. That's that speaker. Now we'll get the much bigger version I got, which is monster and heavy. It's called the Realistic Minima 7. These are, I think, 70 watts, but I can't remember because I lost the sticker on the back. This will be a lot louder, which is why I'm going to turn it right down. This one I'm not taking the grill off. Also, I um, permanent marked the bass speaker black and it looks a lot better. I only have one of these, I wish I had a second one.
and that's the realistic speaker. Now we're going into stereo pairs. Right, now we're going into stereo pairs of speakers, as I said. Here's the first one. These are very big speakers. These are decent speakers. Well, these would make amazing bookshelf speaker speakers. If you was to have them as bookshelves, they would stand a really nice purpose. So yeah, as you can see, it has a four inch subwoofer in the back, which is actually the same driver as what they use on the uh, front. And it has a three inch uh, mid-range as well. Rubber surrounds, very good speakers. I can't go wrong with these. And I'm just gonna pull you back just a tad so you can see the speakers more. About there's good. Right. And I'll just connect the other one. That's black. This one is red. There's the other speaker too. I'm going about there. Fact, I think I might do them like this. There, now you can see both of them. Right, where's my phone? There it is. Turn that volume way down because these ones are pretty powerful and loud. Let's see if I can fix that issue. There we go. Play the same song again. Right, let's start from the beginning. This is as loud as I'm going to go because he's a very deep bass. Turn the bass down. The next two speakers on the style actually got a work in progress. So you're going to hear one before and before the upgrade. So believe it or not, these last speak, these other speakers 
I had the original speakers in them, one of them blew, replaced them, then I replaced them again with a Bose replica, Bo well not Bose replica, real Bose speaker. So one's got a replaced driver and one's got a replaced Bose driver. And these aren't that light guys, these are heavy uh, JVCs as well. Right, um, so that's the non-touched one, it's the one with the upgraded speaker but not the Bose. Connect this one up. So I'm going to max the bass out on this just to show what it's going to sound like. And then I'll get the bows. One. Oh my god. The JVCs are not light, guys. They're not light at all. Oh. Fucking hell. Right. So this will be just this on its own first, and then the upgraded one will be second. Which actually has this driver inside. You can see 10 watts, 6 well. Download a free audio book with your 30 days. Sorry, time. guys, stupid ad. I didn't mean to press a lot, but okay. I pressed the normal one. So just for reference, this is the speaker that's inside this one. Say 6 ohm, 10 more. And that's sealed. Sounds like right. and now the bows. As you can see, Bose has got a slight air leak in a few spots. I apologise for any noise you hear in the background guys. It is ridiculous here, the amount of dogs we have living around here. But yeah, without further ado, let's begin with the Bose speaker. This came out of like a Bose iPod dock thingy.
You can also comment guys which speaker you think has the best sound. I still gotta put glue I still gotta put glue around there. And this is cardboard by the way. I'm going to push it a bit harder. That was that speaker. Now, the next one is actually going to be a um, Bluetooth speaker, which you guys all know of and probably have researched it up multiple times. It is the Logitech, well, not Logitech, sorry, it's the LG PK5 Bluetooth speaker. And yeah. Turn the lights on. Okay, about there. Base and that is all fully on. Turn that off. Turn that on. And now we're going to be doing this speaker on the same song. That's just over halfway volume. that's that speaker now we'll be trying a speaker which is this this comes from Aldi this is a little shower um, Bluetooth speaker it's a 3 watt speaker but for what it is and being splash proof this thing actually sounds relatively decent so without further ado now we're gonna be having this thing on power on 
that like that. Move you forwards, guys. There you go. Uh, connect it up. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, at the end as well. Um, I will actually uh, have two more speakers that are one's a single and then one's a double pair. But anyway, uh, let's have a look. It's one of these. Connected. First one. Fair enough. And then we'll start from the beginning. Same volume. Some... That's weird. This is at max volume with full bass boost and everything. Yeah, for some weird reason, at the beginning of the song, this speaker sounds blown. And it doesn't. I know it's not blown because I've had this speaker for ages. Anyway, next speak Bluetooth speaker. It is an August speaker. I got this for free. Brand new from my old charity shop that I used to volunteer at. I volunteer at a new one now. So, yeah. It's a decent sounding speaker. It's impressive. You can get the much cheaper version of this, which sounds awful and it comes with a cheap toy speaker in it. But yeah, uh, it's maxed volume, but I'm going to have to not have a maxed volume on the, um, the phone because it is insanely loud for what it is. So uh, yeah, let's connect that up. It's the, I think it's an AVS in the thing. Let's just check. Is it the AVS? MS, okay. It's MS. There it is. Right. Now I have had it open before and I did poke a hole in it but I fixed the hole so yeah turn that way down this is one of the clearest sounding little speakers I've got this is full volume guys just to show you as you can tell very loud
and back to the beginning turn this one off and the last bluetooth speaker which is the biggest this is a Daewoo bluetooth speaker made mostly for indoor use <laughs> This thing is insanely loud, which is why I'm going to turn this thing down. See where it come up. Let's just see where it comes. This one, mm -hmm. yep. Now the speaker on this is actually up near here, so I'm, I am going to pull this speaker um, back just a tad because of how this speaker is. And I pressed in the wrong one. Ignore the advert. Contact injury lawyers for Sorry about this guys, the adverts are ridiculous. That's our foy volume. This is the next speaker. I'm going to be using the two of these. I'm not going full volume on that. Jesus. That thing is shaking the whole floor. And we're going to be going back. Turn that off. Turn that back on. I have got a, I have got a rewire, as I keep saying multiple times i have to rewire this and also do some paste where the screws are and on the bottom as well because some idiot managed decided they wanted to drill it into the wall and have them up on the wall so that leaves me bloody holes in the thing anyway um let's see now this if you remember, these speakers don't really do very good for bass. They do good for rock music, though. They do amazing for handling heavy rock, which actually I think I might do with the last video on this. Well, actually, no, this isn't the last video video on the on the this speaker. There's one more after these, and then it will be the last speaker after the these ones. Um, right, connect this one up like that. Do, do, do. Unfortunately, guys, I am gonna have to um, take you off the stand that I'm using, which is actually the other speaker on top of one of the speakers I'm gonna use in this video. That's that. That's that. That's that. 
There we go. Ignore the noise that the amp is making. It always does that when it's not connected. So, uh, yeah. Let me just connect it to my phone and it will stop doing that noise. There we go. See, it's not doing it. Now, but I am going to have to pick up my phone. Do it like this, take that off, do this one like this too, oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to make sure the wires aren't going to look like they're annoying, right, anyway, um, I'm going to actually put on some non-copyrighted uh, rock music, because these speakers do very well at playing rock music. So I don't know why my amp sounds like it's blown, but for some weird reason it sounds like it got blown output on my amp, but I haven't. These are fully sealed by the way as well, I've made them fully sealed with sound insulation. Yes, so um, that's those speakers. The last speaker we're going to be using is this one right here. So, yeah, I'm going to um, pause this and come back. And we are back. Here's the Sony speaker. The other one, I still haven't put the uh, speakers in yet, so this is why it's this. So uh, we're back to the other song I was using with all the speakers. So uh, yeah, let's uh, begin. Just making sure the tweet is working. And this is the last speaker, guys, in this video.
By the way, the speakers that are inside this, just out of curiosity so you guys can know, are Wharfdales. They're not Sony's anymore. Like the Sony's that were originally in it were decent, but they weren't the best. Like these only just fit in here, like the case doesn't fully fit properly on the front. As you can see by the tweeter as well. Tweeter's bigger than the actual um, speaker tweeter driver, which are also notorious for being weak. Sorry, the volume knob on my amp is extremely sensitive. And that's the end of the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed, I also really want to thank you for over 200 subscribers, I really was thinking I wasn't going to get it, so I really want to thank you, plus also I do apologise for the delay on the videos that I've uploaded, I've just been having a break and not felt like doing videos, but I will try and start getting back into them again, anyway guys, thank you for all the subscribers. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.